Hi folks, Joe from Werewolf Group here. This is the Worcester 4000. Now, as you can see underneath, there's no pressure gauges or anything like that. It's all digital display. Uh, so you might wonder how you would find out what the pressure is on your boiler. Now this Worcester is fitted with the blue tag filling loop. So if you're using the 4000, the 8000, 2000 as well, you're going to press the three lines. We're going to get this display. Let me get in there. I'm going to go down to boiler status. Yeah, okay. As we can see, we've got pressure there. We've got a coloured bar. It tells us the temperature. I've just been commissioning this. We're going to increase the pressure. So we're going to put his finger on this tag and pull it down. Hold it gentle. I'm going to watch the pressure increase. And it's in, nicely in the middle of that green bar. About between 1 and 1.5. So if we get to about 1.3. There we go. There we go. And then when we let go, that reseals itself. That's completely done. When you've done that and the display is saying what pressure it is, you can hit the arrow back, back out there, and that's it. And that is how you will change the or check the pressure on the boiler. Now, if you want to change the hot water temperature, press the hot water. I've got it set to 50 degrees Celsius. If it's a bit too cold, increase it. Too hot, decrease it. And hit OK. There we go. And if you want to hit preheat, hit preheat. Well, if you press it again, it goes to eco. Preheat is where the boiler will preheat a small amount of water, ready to send it into the house, ready for usage. And then when the boiler's fired up, it's already there for you. And that is how you check the pressure on your Worcester 4000, 8000 or 2000.